Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how shorts will start struggling by Friday. The AMC futures with a strike price of $120. The warnings of AMC soaring to unimaginable highs and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. That's right, we're taking a look at this. What we have here is from Robert M who takes a screenshot of this. Get ready, it's here. The AMC MOAS, the market crash of December 26. Now, Basically what this is, is talking what Barclay says is that they see reverse repo use falling to $500 billion by Friday, as you guys can see here. Essentially, they, rate, um, they listed out all the possibilities, all the things that's happening, all the factors. And as a result, Barclays expect the lingering heaviness in tri-party rates to pull another $100 billion to $200 billion from the reverse repo by Friday. Friday. Now, this is obviously very big for us. In our previous video, we've already covered about what it means for the current reverse repo to be at 683 billions. And with the reverse repo going down, what it means, one of the things we covered, which again, I won't go into depth if you guys want to go check out the previous video, is essentially the liquidation of assets. And what it does is with a reverse repo going down, it's very likely to be seeing firms and institutions to be selling off their assets at a normal discount than usual. And what that does is obviously bring the overall market down and that leads to the collaterals of the short sellers to also decrease hence decreasing power in manipulation hence also the possibility of covering certain positions aka amc shorts and so with this particular information of um the reverse repo dropping to 500 billion by friday it's a quite a big piece of news now i do want to say that it's not necessarily the moas will happen on december 26th or it will happen by friday whenever the reverse repo dropping but it is understandable that the easy money for these short sellers that they've always had access to is starting to decrease day by day and we are definitely looking at them losing their power of manipulation going forward into the future now this is what i want to talk about and bring the most focus on what we have here is check out these amc mini short future short contracts trading in germany virtual bnp and others involved now essentially taking a look at this from crystal ball who firstly talks about what mini futures are i'm sure i'm assuming everyone knows take a look at where it can be traded and again the list of firms and exchanges that is obviously um involved within this and now here's the most important fact so over here we can see four max Matching certificate found for AMC. And what we have here is Mini Future Short AMC Entertainment Holdings. To make it clear, this is futures for AMC Entertainment Holdings, aka AMC. And you can see four different contracts, which with four different strike prices coming in at $102, $109, $115, and $120. Now, this is extremely interesting because obviously the strike price determines what it's bought or what it's sold at after it's expired. And so taking a look at this, why is it that they are giving the futures of AMC a strike price ranging from $102 up to $120? Again, is this what's happening um, with what's offshore about what firms really are trading AMC? We always know that the current price of AMC, which we're looking at here of $6.65, is not the real price of AMC. We have seen them trade, wherever it's in the dark pool, wherever it's from one firm to another firm and not on the exchange, of how high they've been trading we've seen different prices of AMC we've seen a range from 2000 all the way to 4000 all the way to even 40000 which we've all seen in the data in the previous um previously before on the channel and so taking a look at this the fact that they're given it a strike price of $102 to $120 is extremely interesting and again the fact that this is done in Germany we also know that in that European market ape the ticker symbol ape um is still currently trading even though it shouldn't be so a lot of things are obviously done off the nyse of um us and again in europe whether it's europe where it's offshore a lot of these things regarding amc seems to be trading and again i'm curious to hear what everyone's thoughts on this why is the strike price ranging from 102 all the way to 120 dollars and are they trading this high of a price so that they don't actually have to trade it on the lit market for amc is the fact that they are avoiding something then the next thing we're looking at is amc to unimaginable high so what we have here is firstly a this is a previous reddit post we're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars in hedgy assets 
sold not yet purchased valued at current strike price not the price we are willing to sell them back for we are the reset the system needs to build back a new moa soon fellow apes now this is obviously very true when you take a look firstly at the assets sold not yet purchased on these balance sheets of hedge funds and institutions you have to understand that it is with the current strike price but we always know that at the end of the day due to the fact that retail owns the majority of the flow of amc when amc squeezes it's not going to be at the current price it is the price that we decide to choose to sell up because they need to buy the real shares of us and so whilst we're looking at hundreds of billions it is valued at the current strike price and again what this particular user michael berry 2.0 reply with one correction so trillions with a t four institutions loan one trillion in assets sold on the management to repurchase jp morgan goldman sachs city group td bank if i remember correctly many others some more some less this run repurchasing so we understand the situation we are in and again this is the amount of money that's involved not just with obviously amc but the overall market but we do know that a majority of the money involved is again tied to amc tied to gme so for those of you wondering that if there's enough money bear in mind of how much is sold not yet purchased and it's valued at the current strike price and not even higher and just understand how much value these banks and these institutions really do offer how much money they have and so don't be worried about you know will it actually hit that number because if amc were to squeeze you best bet that they have to pay the money they have to pay up what the mistakes they have created but to also talk about this is this is a post from the past and i think that this is extremely relevant now this is actually a post made back in 2021 and it's where interactive brokers founder said don't short amc meme stocks they can soar to unimaginable highs and i think that this is very 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 relevant and it's still relevant even to this day even though this post was made in 2021 the reason why i say this is because we knew and we know and we can see that many other institutions also knew the fact that amc held a massive massive threat and this was all the way back in 2021 you have to understand what has changed from 2021 to where we are now and almost going into 2024 and that is everything with amc has stayed the same whether that's with surprise whether that's with the short sellers I'm still over leveraging their shorts the only things that have changed are again the number of synthetics it's 10 times 100 times from what it was in 2021 how over leveraged these shorts are is again 10 times 100 times what they were back in 2021 and so whilst the squeeze never happened back in 2021 it wasn't the fact that it was removed remember that the shorts are still trapped in amc they did not get out so this squeeze is still on the table and so back in 2021 they believe that it can soar to unimaginable highs just believe what it can do now in 2023 going into 2024 when the synthetics have tenfold when the over leverage has tenfold when everything has basically tenfold with the amount of how big of a scale this problem has become and again going back to what we said here is that we are the reset that this system needs to be built back anew and that again hundreds and if not trillions hundreds of trillions are tied up within all of this massive massive mess that they have done but also taking a look at this so smart money best capitulate hedge funds cover single stock shorts for the first time in 19 weeks so what we have is again hedge funds covering single stock um single shorts and this is a massive massive sign what we're seeing again is the and again something that we have looked at in the past is actually how much shorts have lost in terms of um their positions and we can see here it's 145 billion dollar loss so this is how much short sellers have suffered in 2023 so when we go back to this and understand why they're starting to cover single stocks now is because they are obviously suffering massive massive losses from these positions it's obviously not working out for them now i'm not saying that they have covered amc but what i am saying is that the ones we are focusing on shorting stocks where they manage where they're systems where their whole strategy involves around shorting they are not having the best of time and this applies to how much power they will have over amc as well if they're suffering 
massive losses, they're also going to be taking a hit with how much power, how much leverage they can have on shorting AMC. And again, like we talked about, the fact that they've suffered 145 billion shows that these short sellers are not in a healthy position like they claim themselves to be. And again, this is what we have. Also talking about what we said at the start with the reverse repo going down, you can see how everything is starting to linking together. Reverse repo going down, meaning the shorts don't have enough power anymore. The fact they suffer losses means that they can't just again double down on their positions they actually have to cover their positions and get out because they don't have that easy to access money like they did before to obviously continue to over leveraging on a stock and that again correlates with how little power they have over amc right now and then finally i want to talk about again this is something that is interesting and this is something we talked about in the previous video but i want to take in a new perspective which was what we talked about yesterday was the potential partnership with Apple because of what AM, um, Adam Aaron made in a tweet. But Crystal Ball said maybe with the price beatdown, they make an offer for AMC. And again, this was a perspective that I didn't talk about yesterday, but it is something that we need to be taking into consideration is that could there be some sort of merge or acquisitions or potentially a sort of play happening here because AMC is so cheap for value right now. Again, we know that this is not a true reflection of the value of AMC and Apple will definitely see that. So could they be making an offer for AMC? Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.